Hello everyone, welcome back to Alpha Graphics. In this video, we're going to learn how to create this kind of edit thumbnail in Photoshop. I'm going to show all of the process that what I did when it comes to creating YouTube thumbnails using a very simple method and you can follow and create your own version on that. So if you're interested to learn how to create a professional YouTube thumbnails for your videos, just watch the video until the end. Now before jumping to the main video, I would like to share that I'm offering freelance graphic designing and Photoshop work on Fiverr and Upwork. If you need any kind of graphic designing or Photoshop work like YouTube thumbnail and many more, you can just feel free to order me on Fiverr, the link in the description to check out. Now let's start the video. Now you're here in the magical world of Photoshop. I have downloaded this image to show you how can you use an image and create this kind of thumbnail. You can use your own image for YouTube thumbnail. Now first we're going to remove the background. In this case we're going to use the paint tool to remove the background. I'm going to explain why in later. But first take the paint tool and remove the background. A lot of people ask me that why should I use paint tool rather than quick selection tool when it's come to creating background. Now paint tool is a professional tool when it's come to remove background and it doesn't leave any kind of a hard edges in the model image. So if you want to apply any kind of stroke or do any kind of professional work just use the paint tool because paint tool is the best when it's come to removing the background professionally. Now take your time and slowly smoothly remove the background using the paint tool. After selecting the model with the paint tool, press right button on your mouse and select make selection. Now apply a layer mask to the layer. Now you can see some of the area are didn't removed yet so you can use again paint tool and remove this area perfectly. You can also use the brush but in, but in this case I'm going to use again paint tool and remove the background properly. After removing the background, we're going to create the canvas. We're going to take 192 by 180 ratio thumbnail size. It's a full HD ratio thumbnail. Now we're going to take this background for our document. So just adjust the size and fit it with the canvas. Then again go to the image document, then convert the layer into smart object and take that image and paste it in the main composition. Now adjust the size and fit it with the background. After adjusting the model and background, now we're going to apply stroke into our model. Next we're going to take our text information that we need to put on our thumbnail. You can choose any kind of or you can take any kind of information that you like to give on your thumbnail. After writing all the information, adjust that text perfectly. Use text variation to highlight the text. The next step is most important for our design. We're going to apply text effect into that text. 
so you can follow my steps and create the sticks i am not going to explain all of that because it's going to take a lot of time but i'm going to show you how, what is the process you need to follow to create this kind of text effect so follow my step and create that text effect easily Feel free to do some experiment with the text effect and see which is the best when it comes to text effect because I'm not going to go with a specific color or specific style. I'm going to do some of the experiment and see which is best for my design. And now you can see we are almost done and the final step is just to group all the layers and organize them into a group. It is going to be easier for navigation and also adjust in later. And now you can see we are almost done. You can leave it as it will and you can also do some of the color grading by using the camera filter. So follow my steps to do some of the color grading using the camera raw filter. And now you can see we just create our thumbnail and it's looking very nice and awesome. Now I just show you all of the process that what I do when it's come to creating YouTube thumbnails in Photoshop. Creating YouTube thumbnails is a very fun way you can follow and create them in any way as you like. Creating YouTube thumbnails is this kind of experimental and also fun. You can create anything and it's going to be look awesome if you follow the steps. So what do you think about this tutorial? Just let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And also if you like this video, hit that like button and share the video with your friend to support our channel. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because in future i'm going to come up with more professional photoshop tutorials for you so that's it for today see you in my next video till then bye bye